I think it would help, um, regardless we're working on behind the scenes for Alessi to stay anyway. You know, it's she's part of our future. She's part of what we see when we're winning silverware. We see it with her in there. In there. So, um, but the reality is, and you know this, Brad, that once we win, the doors open to the world. You know, the players. If I'm a player, I'd be really excited about the prospect of trying to come to Manchester United with what we're trying to do and how we do it. Because I think what we're doing as well is we're trying to put our brand on it, Brad. We're not just, you know, we're not just trying to win. We're trying to win with style. So um, if I was a player around the world, I'd be excited with the potential. If, if Manchester United called, I'd be excited about wanting to join what we're trying to achieve here. I definitely What's given to us first and foremost is experience by every game that we play. So that's given to us. That's naturally part of the, the learning uh, process. I think what it is, is Brad, that when we come in, I just expect, we expect of each other. There's an expectation of each other. We look, we know we're, we're still fighting against really experienced teams, um, but we want to own that. You know, we're trying to raise our own expectations, which of course raises expectations outside externally, but but for us, there's just no one in this group that that is content with not trying to win a game of football. Gen are genuinely in training, they're so competitive. They could be off training, they're so competitive with each other in a good way. So I just think the reality is we're, we're just driving our own standards and expectations. That could be in how we perform, that could be in... My job is to know when, when to apply pressure, when to take it off. That could be an individual conversation. That could be in a group task. It could be in an expectation in the tactics. Um, but I think really is trying to tune in, Brad, really, trying to tune into what's needed. And I know this group, they're just exceptionally hungry, thirsty for success, and we're ambitious. And, and I think it's it's huge for the country. It's huge standard and, and stamp on the, the quality that we have in this group. Um, you know, it's not just England, you know, we have a lot of internationals going away in this window for for really good uh, international teams. So, yeah, I think we are we know that's part of the process. You play well for club and you get an opportunity at country. I still think there are a couple of players in there that potentially could be looked at in the future as well. Um, you know, I think Hannah's been exceptional all year and I think, you know, she'll be continuously monitored. Um, but I think she's been exceptional for us. Um, and obviously Nikita um, as well is, is, is doing super well. So um, and Leah Galton's obviously an exceptional left side footballer. You know, it's not it's not part of what she wants to do right now. But um, yeah, we're uh, we're we're proud to be in a part of that. But it's part of the expectation. If you want to be successful, you have to have that type of player, Brad. And in the World Cup squad. I think to be fair to Serena, um, I think she called and was very clear in Nikita. Um, you know, spoke about some of the things that she wants her to continue to see so that she can improve. It's something me and Nikita are working on. You know, we want Nikita to be going aggressively 1v1 in wide areas as well as cutting in. Because I think one of the things she has, Tom, that not a lot of people have is the great timing from the side to come in. Um, but the, the reality was, I think we talk with the players around, do you want comfort or solution? And I think that's a choice in the conversation, right? Do you want to have... A comfort where we tell you what you want to hear, or do you want solution, which might not be what you always want to hear? But with Nikita, it's always solution. She's she's so she's so um, kind of single minded in what she wants to achieve as well that she's actually wants to take on feedback. It, that, that's the beauty of her, even at this part of her career, Tom, where she's going in now into her prime, is that actually she's she wants to take that feedback on, and she went, look, I ain't got time, I ain't got time to waste. So I want to work on it and be better, but. I think when you get to the selection processes for like a Manchester United or an England or any national team, that's always the most difficult part. Um, and you have to go with what your gut tells you and all obviously the statistics and how you want to approach the game plan. But I think Serena was honest with her. She takes honesty. She's very on she's very good with honesty. Um, but you know what I love about Nikita? She she won't give you an easy ride. She will, you know, she will put up her side if she feels that you are. Uh, fibbing to her, but no, she's been great. She's going to work here. Um, I think she's on standby, but if she's, if not, we'll work a great week for her and get her working on the things that she needs to continue to improve, mate. Thanks, Mark. Really, really appreciate it. Good luck. Thanks, Tom. Catching. Weekend could be, a, could be a particularly big one. Yeah, I think it will be anyway. Look, I, although Tottenham are where they are, um, 
they've invested very well. So, you know, there's a lot of investment gone into that team. So I'd imagine that that's what Rianne's talking about when she's speaking about the process. Um, so for us, it's, yeah, look, we've got to go into this game and from now to, we go into every game for look, there's, there's no doubt with our team, we go into every game, whether it be Chelsea away, Arsenal away, Manchester City away, Tottenham away, we go in to try and win. So we, we don't have any of the mindset. I can't, I, I genuinely can't get this group to think of anything other than winning. So um, we know how hard we've got to work to do that because I have seen part of the process there. I have seen the players that they have, the players have recruited. Um, and so I can see, you know, what, what they're trying to build there. And, and if you take your eyes off that team for one second, of course they can hurt you. They've just done it to Chelsea twice. So um, we will take nothing for granted. We will go and earn everything as we always do. And we'll try and put a performance in like we did against Everton and book convert the chances this time. All right. That's a lot, mate. Thank you, mate.